Anna saying, have you guys covered Buddhism as a religion or spoken to any ex-Buddhists? The answer is yes. Yes and to no. Both. Yes and no. Yes to both? When did we talk to an ex-Buddhist? I don't I forgot. When so a few weeks ago on your personal channel, you talked to a top patron. Guys, if you're a top patron, you can have private calls with Armin. No, he he was an ex all okay, fine, sure. He's an ex-Buddhist. That's what he says well, in the video. He's an ex Buddhist Confucius. He's an ex tr, uh, ex Buddhist Confucius Shintoist, right? I, I I don't know. Maybe yes, you're right. You're no, right, you're he right. was. He because, did never practiced Shinto. He was ethnically Chinese. Oh, sorry. Uh, ex Taoist Confucianist Buddhist. There we right? go. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So I think like I yeah maybe the way I think about a Buddhist, somebody that says I'm a Buddhist. Is somebody that is just into Buddhism, not somebody that happens to practice the uh, the three major. This faiths, is this is three... this is Abrahamic thinking. Okay, okay. Because well, for okay. millions this of is... people, these are not they don't have to be distinct, and one does not invalidate the other. Yeah, but they're not. Then okay, but the same. If you go, for example, in Japan and ask people, are they Shinto? Are they Shintoist or Shinto or whatever? They would say like no, even though they practice, they have Shinto, they do Shinto stuff. They don't consider this a religious identity. Do you know what I mean? So, a lot of people take part in Buddhist culture and practices, but they don't. Buddhism is not an identity. I think like when somebody uses Buddhism, I'm a Buddhist as an identity. There are. It's different from somebody that just goes to a Buddhist. I'm, I'm, I might be completely wrong about this. Okay, so you, the people people who are Buddhist or are in you know uh, from China or Japan or Korea or whatever, let me know if this is your understanding. Because my I, understanding is that uh, I think you are talk fearing millions of practitioners. <laughs> Yes, I am. Well, this is based on what I've seen, and I could be completely wrong, and I am happy to be corrected by it. I think, like, it, to be corrected on this, but I think, like, when somebody, especially in a Western country, when they come and say, like, I'm a Buddhist, that's different from somebody that takes part in all of the cultural norms in China or in Japan, which happens to be sometimes Buddhist, sometimes Confucianist, or sometimes Taoist or Shinto, okay? That is not, that is not like, oh, that, that is not somebody who, in my, in my view, considers themselves to be, to have a Buddhist identity. Okay. And I feel maybe, like that's a Western idea though. Okay. Maybe I think, I think calling yourself a Buddhist might be a Western idea. <laughs> exactly. For you, for, no. So that's what I'm saying. So when you say a Buddhist, okay, uh, to ex Buddhist. I think like being a Buddhist itself is more of an Abrahamic mindset where you build an identity around some traditions and cultural norms that you practice it. So for you to be an ex-Buddhist, you would have to first be a Buddhist. And for you to have been a Buddhist, you have to have an Abrahamic mindset over the identity, your cultural norms that you participate in to define your identity. Okay. So yes, I, I am justifiably looking at this from an Abrahamic mindset. Because ex, the, the whole concept of ex-Buddhist is already Abrahamic mindset. For you to be an ex-Buddhist is kind of like an ex-Muslim or an ex-Christian. You know what I mean? That's already an Abrahamic mindset. So I'm responding it with, it, with an Abrahamic mindset. Does that make sense? Yes. I think we hmm. should break out of the abrahamic mindset to be able to better answer this question personally you can't which is what because I was you're arguing. talking about a, yes but you can't uh, break out of an abrahamic mindset because you're talking about an ex-buddhist which is already being defined within an abrahamic framework i see what you mean yeah yeah i just think that if we're thinking about it in such strict terms there are going to be very few people who we can 
legitimately through your like very like stratified thinking yeah. like call an ex-buddhist but there are millions of people who did used to do well, something participate in some ritual maybe they actually believed in it at one point they no longer have yeah. that's my point is going to be challenged and also when i say abrahamic mindset i'm mostly say, saying christian and islam not judaism right but yes it's going to be challenging to call certain people ex-buddhist the same way it's already challenging to call people ex-Hindu or ex-Jew, okay? We already have mm -hmm. that discussion. So we know, yes, it's going to be confusing and because it's not going to be as clear cut as like, hey, I believed in Jesus, now I don't, that makes me an ex-Christian. Or I believed in Muhammad and Allah, now I don't, that makes me an ex muslim With other religions, it's harder to decide what makes you an ex-that religion, right? So... Yeah, it would be challenging. I could see why. <laughs> well, and to answer your question, <laughs> we yeah. actually have covered Buddhism, I think. So if you, um, on our yes. uh, YouTube channel, say like Atheist Reacts Buddhism, you'll probably find it. I know we've done Sikhism, Jainism as well. Um, so look at, oh no, and Taoism. So we definitely did Buddhism. Um, and yeah, if you're interested in a conversation with an ex-Buddhist, <laughs> <laughs> um go check out armin's personal channel where he did that yep, it's not my recently. Personal it was channel. really really good i learned a lot i might just ask about... him I, ju I might just ask him what he thinks about uh buddhism and his identity being more of an abrahamic mindset of looking at things yeah, yeah. maybe i'll ask him yeah oh we have an answer from gaijin american on our ex-buddhist mm. debate and Sir, I think no. it comes in my favor. Gaijin okay. American is saying, yes, I'm technically an ex-Buddhist. Yes, it's an Abrahamic that's, thing. I prayed to Buddha point. and applied his teachings. Was I ever a Buddhist monk? The answer is no. Okay, well, no, that that is that is that also confirms my answer as well. That calling somebody an ex-Buddhist is coming from an Abrahamic mindset. Well, technically not all Abrahamic, Christian and Islamic mindset. Okay. So there you go. A Gaijin American is an ex-Buddhist because he's an American, not because he's Chinese. Like that, that is coming. He's that framework of me being an ex-Buddhist coming from his American mindset. Not from his Asian. So see, he's an well, you Asian. Were, he's no, gay. The basis oh, of you like, talk fearing things. him and I'm saying that he was hey, an ex I didn't, I didn't Buddhist. You. I didn't. I didn't interrupt you. I didn't interrupt you. Okay. He has he has three identities, and all his three, all of his identities are in his usernames. Okay. He, these are the things that he goes by. He's gay. He's Asian. He's American. Okay. So I'm saying the reason why gay and American, you know, identify himself as an ex Buddhist comes from his american identity mindset more than his asian mindset i mean you know what i mean so yes yeah. but the basis of you talk fearing him as an ex-buddhist originally was because you said well he wasn't an ex-buddhist because he was also a taoist and a confucianist so he can't be an ex-buddhist because he was also these other things and i was saying right in that cultural practice those things aren't exclusive or invalidating of the other so yes you can be both all those other things and an ex-buddhist uh yes they like <laughs> Honestly, complimenting that's a good <laughs> <laughs> it is an amazing it is an amazing uh username mm. oh gaijin american is uh adding i feel the need to assert that gentrifiers would insist buddhism is an atheist philosophy but that was never my experience buddha and his court were like jesus and his angels and he also said previously does it count that i once thought he was a divine being but now he's just a dead guy who made some valid points so saying that yeah i think that there is an effort and historically actually since uh the occident meant the orient of trying to characterize buddhism as a philosophy intentionally instead of a religion because they were coming from it from a protestant mindset but um yeah it's definitely I, a religion 
yeah i mean originally calling things religion itself was a western thing to do anyways but now that we have a definition for things um, that is more universally accepted buddhism is a religion but originally even classifying anything as a religion came from a not just an abrahamic mindset but a christian mindset atheist republic needs your help we have been the target of many legal attacks by Hindu nationalists ever since our founder, Armin Avabi, blasphemed against Hindu deities. We have retained legal counsel to help us defend our access to our community in India. We have started a fundraiser that will help us afford to tackle many legal issues, including judicial harassment and censorship. Whatever you can contribute will go a long ways in helping us in this fight. Link in the description below.